Taco in the morning, getting ready to work on the bus, but we got a, we got a cabinet. Excited to work on the bus today. We got this nice cabinet to put in the kitchen and sadly the bus is dead. So we're gonna charge it up. Cranker. Got the new cabinet in. It's gonna need some work because we gotta take this plank off and it's sitting on one, but it looks pretty nice. But we got the counter looking pretty spiffy. She's gonna have to get a new plank right there. Then if you head back here, sort of start getting some of the planks in, but we just gotta get I have a whole new box at home, just a couple more planks we have to cut. But got a couple pieces of the flooring in the cabinet. Is a Set there looking good, but we are all set for today. I might come back later and uh, undo these last few uh, boards. So there's the next day or two. We got the curtains up that one day is super quick, a couple screws. And today I am uh, taking them down and we are going to recut them so they look better because right now they look a little sloppy and a little, just half, uh, look gross. So we're gonna fix them up a little bit. I'm gonna measure and see how low I want the top ones to come down and the bottom one, see how low I want them below the window. So I'm gonna go my tape measure. Got the rally focus all nice and muddy. Hopefully, oh, didn't lock myself in, but. It took me a minute to find exactly how I want these curtains, but this is pretty much how I'm gonna make them uh, tonight. As you can tell, a little bit, they're kind of bunchy. So I'm gonna pretty much just cut these in half and fold it up in half. So the top's gonna be seven inches long and the bottom is gonna be 30 inches long. So it's just like an inch or two, a little lower than that. Then on this side for curtains, I was thinking about having them droop right here and then a droop right there. I think it would look nice, but then I don't know what I'm gonna do with the kitchen area. So we're just going to see how uh, these turn out after I get this stuff to uh, resew them and do the same to the other side. Also added this little cutie, this hula girl. She's chilling on my dash. Time to take off these curtains. Probably one of the easiest things. Literally just slip on there. off yeah it definitely looks gross without it but you see like this right here this was the problem how like their the hinges are on like an angle they're supposed to be like straight so i'm gonna put like a one by two all along right here and then mount it so you can put two screws on it and it'll be nice and flat this right here is the stuff that we're gonna be using to uh make my curtains look better it's like five bucks so let's see how this works Today's the second or third day working on the curtains, but today's gonna be the final day for this side, and then I got some for the other side. But today, uh, pretty easy. It's pretty warm, and it's like 30 degrees outside, but it feels like 60 in here, so uh, not too shabby. So let me show you guys what I'm doing. Should be pretty quick, and just a couple screws. So right here, I cut two planks. Uh, I don't know what, what, you, what you call this wood. But I'm going to put a piece of wood along the whole side right there. Then put the curtains on it. 
because you can only mount one screw right here. This is the bracket that the curtains go on. And you can see how it's bent because there's not a good spot. So I'm going to put the wood first and then put the curtains. Took uh, took off the hoodies and stuff. It was like too hot in here. It's like 30 degrees outside. I still don't get that. But the curtains are finally done, all hooked up. Took me a while because there's a nice fat metal beam going right where I hang that piece of wood. So I had to work around that a little bit. Took a minute. Well, let me show you guys the curtains. <laughs> 